Let's do the podcast intro, guys. Oh, that was cute. Yeah, don't that turn your really mic That was really cheeky. Off, yeah. I, I was stretching. I wasn't. Well, yeah, stretching yeah. your vocal cords. Oh, I'm so, man. Actually, really, they're so sore. I know. We can't tell. <laughs> oh, God. If you had a Come camera on. down there today, you, you would, they would just be inflamed and red and pussy. Yeah. Have you ever done that? Gross. Pussy. Yeah, all the time. Your vocal all cords look like a vagina. And they just, like, flap together. <laughs> oh, my God, the hand movement. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and really? how many yeah. cords do we have? Oh, gosh, I don't Are know. Are there loads? It's a bit technical. Um, no, oh, but sorry, every like, other question yeah. we've asked you about vocal cords, you've answered oh, it. Oh, that's yeah. true. Of I'm course. Like, oh, do- I'm a doctor. <laughs> what am I, a doctor? <laughs> <laughs> I'll try and find the picture. Oh, have yeah. A, yeah. Have a look. If you... I'll look at Yeah, so I'll bring it up. What, yeah. am, I, what am I typing? Because you guys love... vocal anyone. cords. Oh, okay. I don't know if I want to see it. It just looks like... Why would they have be you, called have cords? You? Is this a bit personal? Mm. Have you ever seen Yes. That? You have. I have, yes. See that? That Don't one there. Looks- Ooh, Hang on. Is that it there? That's it closed. Really? And then, oh my <laughs> God. Oh, okay. Don't you think it looks like a j- <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Is that? And so when they get oh. you to sing, see this hand movement that I'm doing? That's what your vocal flaps. I think that's what they, oh no, they're called four folds. <laughs> 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 they're called folds. So they um, slap together. Mm. Like this, yeah. Yeah. and oh then sometimes God. if there's a bit that rubs together too much, you get, that's how you get nodules. Can you see that? That's a little nodule on there. Oh, maybe I have. Where? Where? Where's the nodule? See on the uh, uh, no above it. Yeah. To the left, yeah. it looks like oh up God. one more. Oh, that. that one there. Where's, the, where's left. the that's a nodule? Oh! That's a nodule. So it's from um, repeated trauma to the area. Oh my goodness. Good lord. Yeah, had a good vocal bashing. Right? Yeah. yeah. Wow. You know, and where else little... are they? There. Down there, I think. Oh, hello. And hello. different sounds. So if you go really high, it tightens up. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you go low, hello. they widen up and they go well, really fat. We've learned something on the podcast this afternoon to this morning and this away. afternoon this evening. Whatever time this thing. Yeah. Uh, enjoy today's podcast, will you? Please do it. Enjoy. Just enjoy. Close your vocal cords and chill. <laughs> Kate, Tim, and Joel. Listen via the Nova Player. Download it now from the App Store or Google Play and take Nova wherever you go. The Nova Player. Mic one on. Mic two. That's you, Kate. Right. Here we go. Mic three. Joel Creasy. Down and spend some time with the guys. This is Kate, Tim, and Joel. Oh, we'll count you in. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Oh, hanging out with friends. Making some radio, man. Yes. <laughs> okay, strap him. Oh, we're doing it. We are so doing it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I laugh today, by the way. Yeah, welcome officially to Tuesday afternoon, dudes. Thank you that very much. like Cheers Day. Mm. Oh, cheers Day. Cheers Day. Okay, cheers. Cheers. A lot of people enjoying themselves in the city, no matter where you're living right now. I know. Is anyone in their cars? Is anyone? Has kidding? anyone had a Melbourne Cup Day argument like I used to always do with my partner? Oh really? Oh yeah, big screaming <laughs> match at each other after a few too many day one, day whack one. Yeah, I know. And it is warm in a lot of parts of the country today. So um, kids are still at school though in most parts of the country. So I mean, even if you did have something on, you, you have to kind of front up and collect the little ones. Mm. I wouldn't know. Oh, you had a very relaxing day today. <laughs> very relaxing day. Yeah. I love laying around doing nada. Nada. It's Dog Greasy, you're, you're a hero among men. You've, you've brought yourself into the studio, which I guarantee will make you feel better at six. I promise you. I know. I know. I was going to call in sick today because I'm a bit under the weather, but I want... You know, radio is my life. Yeah. You, know, you know, laughter is the best medicine. But also, you know what? We're supposed to be here. We're, we're, we're meant to be here with you for the thrills and the spills, right? This That's is not the, the TV thing. world you're all used to where everyone has to look amazing in the same. Yeah. Sometimes if you're having a bad day, That's we're here okay. to lift you up, you know? Uh, 100%. Have a croaky voice, you know? No. Have, have a lemon iced tea. I hope no one gets too aroused by my oh, croaky I'm voice. Oh, I'm very aroused by oh, that yeah. voice. I can't oh. wait to hear you sing. I know, we've got Joel Jive today. That's going to be, there's going to be blood I was wondering if, if you didn't come today, if was Tim going to maybe have, be forced to sing with me? And I was oh. so excited for I a second. I will move heaven and earth to make sure that doesn't happen. I know. He's very, very good at avoiding that. I jump on the phone and I start pinging out text. People. Yeah. Yeah. And anyone around? Who's yeah. around? Who's available? Do you hate singing that much? No, I, I, no, I just, and that's just not my role in the show, you know. Oh, okay. Did karaoke at my birthday. We did it together. <laughs> Your to birthday. my parents. Oh, no. oh, did we? Yeah. To your parents. Well, I know. Did we sing Summer Rain? 
We did. And my parents are sitting oh, there at this bar in Fitzroy at about 2 a.m. thinking, what has happened? Like, honestly, <laughs> what are we doing with our lives? <laughs> Get us back to Perth. Would that make us feel better? Would that make everyone feel better? Bit I think it rain. would. Yeah. It would make everyone feel better. I mean, you know? no one's listening. No, but I I'm, I hope there's people in cars right now leaving Flemington listening. And to those people, I say, have it. <laughs> Kate, Tim and Joel on Nova. It's for you, Jenny and Terry Creasy. They'll love it. They'll be <laughs> sloshed at a Melbourne Cup function right now, I can guarantee. But it's probably a little bit different without you two screaming the song at oh, their yeah. faces. Well, I remember looking good. at Joel uh, halfway through the song going, God, this song goes for ages. <laughs> it goes for a really I know. Long. <laughs> and I remember looking at you halfway through thinking, are we about to make out? <laughs> <laughs> For everyone coming home after a big day out or just wandering around doing their normal thing, not realising it is even Melbourne Cup Day, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't give two hoots about it. November, December 2023. I'm really teasing that out. That's ages away. I know. Actually, you were crowned um, pumpkin carving winner, I noticed, on our socials as the 2023 winner. Thank you. You know, my nine-year-old daughter pointed that out to me. It's like, isn't that next year? I'm going, yeah, you're right. (laughs) Laughing at you with the pumpkin on your head going, bonjour. Like, it's made me laugh all day today. (laughs) See, that's what I mean. Come to work. You never know what's going to happen. I know. you know what I I noticed on it as well is that it was, and, you know, I don't want to call anyone out, but it was supposed to be Halloween. As in hello, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. But yes. it said quee. <laughs> 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 I only noticed that this morning. Well, Jermaine's first week with us. He's easing in, okay, and he's doing a great job. Our socials are doing never an better. amazing job. Yeah. I was laughing so. Oh my hard. goodness, I've never seen so much activity on that our looks socials. So great. I'm like, is there been an explosion in an Instagram story I factory? Know, it's wonderful. I do think my my pumpkin got a bit of a rough trot. <laughs> Good word to use. Today. Oh yeah, how so? <laughs> um, well, I just thought it was very topical in 2022. A lush no, you kept debate. saying that, Hayes, but I guess the public <laughs> decided they didn't like it. They really did. And I, 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 I mean, I guess okay. what you haven't learned is shoving things down people's throats <laughs> is not a way to get votes. It's much like well, a vape. isn't it? <laughs> yeah. mm. Although mine, mine was trashy. Mine ended up being, my mind's already starting to fall apart because it's just had so yours much done to yours. Yours, yours was. Yours was. Yours was. Yours was. There were pains everywhere. <laughs> or as my son thought it was bones. I'm like, yeah, let's go with bones. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I actually had to throw out our pumpkins from the front of the house today because the fruit flies in there decided to have an orgy overnight. Oh, and no. they're just like going, I'm like, I thought you were fruit flies. Mm. Pumpkin fries. <laughs> pumpkin fries? Pumpkin, pumpkin fries. <laughs> Did you go trick-or-treating last night? Oh, yeah, mate. Heck, With the kids? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> you going and knocking on people's doors for lollies. I'll tell you what, it was just a real, another excuse for people to drink cans on the street. Yeah. Just wandering, like, especially our area loves a can of uh, Young Henry's New Towner. Huh? Of course. Wandering around, just like all the dads. Yeah. I, I had fangs in and a cape and some blood. Yeah. Oh wow! So you actually you really got into it? Well, not really. That's pretty. That's pretty povo. Oh, okay. Mm. Compared to previous years. Oh, what have you done in previous years? Other costumes. Other povo yeah. costumes. <laughs> it was Cinderella, Cinderella last year, wasn't it? Oh, I can't remember. Yeah. With no undies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's coming into that time of year, like you know, with the races and Halloween and all that. It's just like people just. This is the loose part end of the year. No, Vem, it's my favourite. So much. It's mm-hmm. my favourite. That's why January is great too, because Christmas is done. When Christmas isn't on the on the cards yet, everyone's chilled. Yeah. So, like, Halloween and the races, who cares? Yeah, woohoo. And also, that's the great thing about Halloween. Go hectic or, or just put some fangs in. It doesn't actually matter. Yes. Uh, well, I was home from the basketball about 10 last night, which is when my community were really starting to rev oh, up yeah. and oh, hit it's party the town. time. Oh, well, oh, Melbourne my public holiday. So, because I, I, my theory, and it might not be true, is I think the gay community brought Halloween to Australia. Absolutely. We love Halloween. And just, normally I do too. Always partying. Yes. Oh, yeah, and then yeah, all yeah. of a sudden we thought, oh, maybe the kids can get involved. Oh, my <laughs> kids, they ruin everything. <laughs> oh, they really do. <laughs> Some of those costumes, are, well, lack of costumes yes. I saw. Oh, I saw really some, lots I saw of some mutual, mutual friends of ours on Instagram overnight going, oh. who are a lot of harnesses? I'm like, but what, oh. what, who are you? Harnesses are a thing I don't understand. No. And no, I nor should I. No. A friend of mine went out for dinner the other night, right? Oh, what? And he wore, like, to he was restaurant. just. Yes. But he was in, like, jeans and a white tee. 
and and when I say he's like a distant friend, he and then over the white tee, he just had a harness on. Over the like white tee, like it was a necklace or something. Yeah, like a, like a, a harness. I'll send you the photo, gay man, just a harness on, just at re- like dinner on a Wednesday night. I don't yeah. think I don't think you need to wear a harness. Do no, especially I no. Yeah, to I harness, agree. But hey, dinner, I don't want to yuck someone's want, yum. You want but... an expandable waistline? See yeah. this? Yeah. I can unzip <laughs> and I can expand. Oh wow! You can. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of clothes I'm into. I feel like I've spent the last Man. month like wearing a corset pretty much and not and taking yeah. shallow breaths because I can't take a full breath in. Yeah. But Unzip this, and expand. Look at that. Yeah. You want sexy. elasticated waistbands and you want to be able to expand when you're at dinner. This is why I say, look how good radio is. <laughs> Yesterday you were on the ground in your track pants carving a pumpkin for I two know. hours and you went home. I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Just another day at the office. Just another day. Um, she works hard for the money. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's talk kids with no filter next. What have you heard? What have you seen? There's a great this story great. going around. Kate, Tim and Joel. Joel, Creasy present. Present. Well, that's sounded sexy. Present. Oh, thank no, you. No, you're warm, you're warming up, Chris. Yeah. I, did do, I did some vocal warm-ups in the shower before I came in because it was, it was really gone this morning. <laughs> that was yesterday. Can you give me like a little <laughs> look into your vocal warm-ups? I do the... Oh. And then the... And then just yell at somebody. And what were yeah. you saying? The mm. N- oh. the N G sound when you go. Mm, that's what should little... I do is I don't want to sing, mm-hmm. but I want to keep my voice at a timbre, mm-hmm. like a low <laughs> timbre. Yeah, what Joel was doing was right. Your little mm. yeah, in a hot mm-hmm. steamy shower. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Just do that to people, Ooh. like with your eyes popping out. <laughs> 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 Oh, it's the Looney Tunes vocal warm up. I know, perfect. I used to have an Aruga. Don't have that anymore. Have you ever lost your voice? Because your yeah. your voice has a lot of I, I did your stuff voice going strong. on. In it. I did lose my voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For like mm. that would yeah, be it. That'd be in the show memos when I lost my voice. Mm. Where, where are you I'd putting the Aruga down now? I'm so confused with where everything's going. I, I, think, da- I think Dan might have had a few Dan! champagne floats. Because I'm sure with you, with a lost voice, you still talk. Oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a compliment? Yeah. I think I still came in. I just panelled the show. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just stared at everyone aggressively. Do this. Right, I, I did week, a week of the comedy festival with no voice, but I had to go on because if I cancelled the shows, I would have lost so much money. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that were, just... were your first five star reviews. <laughs> <laughs> oh, two thumbs up. I just battled through it. I yeah. had a, like a ton. I had ten percent of the voice. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, and I just had to do it and, oh, and shut up all day long. You got to get on the roids. What do you got bro? with kids with no filter? Let's do that. <laughs> okay, so this is about Jason Biggs from American Pie. Oh yes. Did he do something else recently? I think uh, he popped up in something, and he was the lead in American Pie. Okay, Marg and Pomerantz. <laughs> what, what did I call you Marg and Pomerantz? Marg and Pomerantz. And you're By the way, is Marg and Pomerantz coming on to review House of Gucci for us? She's just said no. Flat, Flat no. Serious. Flat no from Hi, Margaret. Everybody. I just want to... Oh, my God. Margaret, don't make me tell the story about when I saw you at the lights. <laughs> oh, that was her. <laughs> um, well, Jason Biggs and his wife, Jenny... Nah. Je- Jenny and Jason, um, they went on a trip to Copenhagen um, oh, yeah. without their eight-year-old son. So, like a little, just just husband and wife. Um, but and their eight-year-old son stayed at home and continued attending school. What? Now, at school, their eight-year-old son. Hang on, sorry, with a babysitter. I'm sure someone well, was there to pick him up and yeah, drop him maybe off. Yeah, maybe the in-laws. Okay, sorry. I'm trying to... I'm actively listening. Have you? Oh, I'm getting <laughs> involved. Have you never left town while your kids are at school? Yeah. Someone... Uh, your kids aren't here at the office right now, are they? How do you know? I would love if your kids were here. <laughs> really? I'd make them my best friends. You're, okay. They would actually probably judge me and bully me. Oh, they're so I scary. Think they, I think they're, so, they're so cool. cool. Yeah, I think no, they're really they cool. Like, they would love you, mate. Are you you serious? reckon? Of course. So all I and, want and, is and approval from your children. And you'll do what you know you normally do and just like, like load them with YouTube clips of yeah. yourself. No, and, I never <laughs> do and, bring, that. and bring in all your clippings. Oh my God. <laughs> Guys, did you watch me on the TV last night? Yeah. Yeah, yeah be like, do you want a champagne? Yeah. Like, Vicky, you can't offer them champagne. Do you like UFC? <laughs> yeah. Let me show you a couple of things. Too. Yeah. Well, when, I, when you say your kids are coming in, which is very rare, but when they do, I, like, prepare. Like, I'm like, oh, okay, think of cool conversation, Joel. Like, you can oh. be cool. You can, you can, Bluey. Bluey's big, right? <laughs> Bluey. No, they're all off Bluey. Oh, are they? Because I bought my youngest the Bluey floaties. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's so cute. The Bluey floaties. Oh, Bluey, really, they're really big in the pool community. 
Uh, the bluey floaty. The pool yeah. community. Oh, yeah, the pool community. You know, the not wanting kids to drown community. <laughs> oh, wow. They're really big on that. Oh, the whole floaties them. thing. Oh, yeah, my yeah, floaties and kickboards. <laughs> They've got to sew up themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Don't love too much. It hurts my throat. Okay, sorry. Um, so their son. So their <laughs> son. Do another show if you like. Yeah, <laughs> that's easy. Um, their son is at home still. I'm, I'm guessing in the yeah, states. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, he announced at school that his parents were on an adult trip and were eating tons of penis. Say the darndest thing. Why? Okay. So the child's teacher emailed his parents saying that they should address the issue at their earliest convenience. So the teacher emails and says, "Dear Miss." Biggs. Today in school, your son shared with his classmates that you're in Copenhagen and on an on an adult trip and have been eating, and then this is the teacher, in brackets, pardon my language, tons of penis. While I hate to bother you on your vacation, I felt strongly that you should be aware and perhaps address the issue at your earliest convenience. What so then Jason say? and Jenny Biggs explained that their son was speaking about a restaurant uh, that they had visited where they ate grilled reindeer heart, brain custard with pollen, reindeer blood caramel, and ra- and reindeer penis ragu. For a, just for the room, um, how do you both feel about tons of penis? Like, is that something that? T- well, I mean, I feel like you're asking two people, but. So you need yeah. to clarify that question. I know. I'm putting it both out there to both of you. What was Ricky saying before? Unzip and, and, and expand. <laughs> oh, well, I'm okay. mad for it. Oh, <laughs> Claire, save me here. Um, Claire, Claire, Claire. Kids with no filter, what you got? Yeah, so I um, work in a childcare centre. Yeah. So we get a lot of these, but one that stood out about three years ago was... Um, a little girl who her mum just got a new boyfriend that had moved in and, you know, they're talking talking to us about the boyfriend and we're like, oh, you know, is he nice to mummy, all this sort of stuff? And she said, yeah, except sometimes when mummy's naughty, um, he puts her in handcuffs. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. And so we were like, what? What sort of handcuffs? What do they look like? So they're red fluffy ones. <laughs> Oh, dear. oh, cheeky, cheeky. Cheeky keyboards. <laughs> She'll be out in the races today. Yep. <laughs> Barefoot. <laughs> to those people, I say, how about... <laughs> Kate, Tim and Joel, driving you home on Nova. Now, don't, don't answer if you've looked, but how old's Anthony Kiedis today? I looked. I just looked. Stop giving everyone all the sheets. It's on this sheet. Stop oh, giving on. everyone all the sheets. It's on this sheet. No it's on the run sheet. Left. 21. No. He's 48. No. He's 52. 60. Oh, a little oh, sad wow. guy. And he did a cover. They did a cover of uh, Nirvana. They did a cover of Nirvana <laughs> oh. at the Silver Lake Conservatory of Music. Have a I listen to it, this. Oh. Have fun. Happy birthday, AK. And the Chili's will be out here real soon with this guy, Post Malone. You know the dates if you're going. Jan through Feb. Check it out. Uh, coming up next, how'd you make someone fall for you? You know? Oh, how'd you make okay. them get that twinkle in their eye mm. for you? Kate, Tim and Joel. Someone was born yesterday. I was today years old. God, I had that saying. I know, me too. I've just got some Turkish delight. Tell me the thing that you just mm. said to blow my tiny little mind. You said, how good is a fry's Turkish delight? And you're like, meh? Mm? Well, I thought you were talking... <laughs> I thought you said fr- a fried... I thought you said a fried Turkish delight. How good delight. is a fry's Turkish delight? The classic one you get at Servos, Col- Shell Coles Express has them. Yeah. Um, I never knew that. It just says fries at the top. I I'll never knew that. yourself on the way home, Ricky. Mm. Well, we just have one there, out of a violin case, because it's a music station. <laughs> out of a violin case. Was it a violin case, case or was it a guitar? It's a tiny violin. What kind of guitars are you playing? I don't know. I don't play guitar. But I've seen people play tiny you guitars. Judge- like ukulele. I do judge <laughs> people playing guitar quite harshly. Who's mm. your favourite guitar player? Uh, uh, Tim Blackwell. Tim Blackwell. 
Oh, this guy that I met <laughs> no, at a you party say, in Melbourne. Oh, shut up. You can say like, He loves playing okay, shivers. Don't worry about it. <laughs> his name is Tim. I'm done today. But seriously. he doesn't want to be called Tim to his face. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's giving me the shit today. Um, how do you make them fall for you? I mean, it's time to talk love, guys. Because I know it's a... Look, it's not just the racist obs nation. Some people are out there who've just maybe locked eyes. Some people oh. oh. in love today at the races. Some people might get, be getting hot and heavy this evening. Oh, yeah. Or just messy. Messy. Licking each other's faces and... Oh, yeah. I reckon that, yeah, a lot of hookups today where you won't remember their name. Yeah. Those awkward walks of shame. Just remind me of another singer, Licky Lee. Right <laughs> here of you. Licky Lee. I do know Licky Lee. Licky Lee. Yeah. I like her. That should be yours. Parody. My... Um, when I check into a hotel, it should be Licky, licky Lee. Lee. Licky <laughs> Lee. Tricky Licky Lee. <laughs> you know what my um, pseudonym is at hotels? Do you actually use one? Fries Turkish Delight. Of course oh. I don't. <laughs> but it wouldn't surprise me. Of course. What do you mean? We got asked when we um, just did our idol tour if we have a name for a hotel, for the, to put at the hotel, and I felt like an idiot because I said no. Oh, really? And now I'm going to have to. Yeah. It's... Now I'm going to have to have one. I think yeah. Harry Connick just goes for Harry Connick as opposed to Harry Connick Jr. Oh. It throws him off the scene. Yeah. Yeah. No yeah. one would guess. No yeah, one yeah. would guess. But that must, I think that that must mean that someone on the crew has one, so then they've asked everyone, that's it, I need a name. Uh, Amy Shark wouldn't, would she? I don't, I don't, think I don't know. I'm going to ask her. Megan Trainor, surely. You reckon? Megan, yeah. yeah, I think or so. Ka- do you reckon Kyle would? No, nah, he'd love people to know he's there. True. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I mean, a part of part of you know having your actual name on the on the booking is you get it sometimes yeah, a better true. room and you get wine and you get fruit platters and you get all these things I in know. your room that you didn't ask for and it's I fantastic. Once got booked in under a pseudonym. Like mm. I didn't ask for it. I never asked for it. But then I lost my room key and I couldn't get back into my room because they didn't believe me <laughs> and I couldn't remember the pseudonym. <laughs> what about the special treatment you got on Saturday though? I went to your room before the radio awards and like like it was like uh, George Clooney arrived. I really? walked in and on the screen it said welcome Joel Creasy. I'm like oh, oh my god how the other half live. Rock and roll. <laughs> My name on the TV. <laughs> I mean, how do they do what that? Do and they wouldn't do that for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got a complimentary apple. You even put your gross big moon shoes on the bar. I did it intentionally. I got <laughs> out my big white so moon shoes and put them out there just to, just to shit him. Yeah, yeah. I'm shit just shit Sarah. Mm-hmm. Um, what you got? So uh, women, I read this story, that are sharing the wild... <laughs> <laughs> They do a lot of this. <laughs> right? Is that what women not, sound like to you? Not that I've noticed. Oh, no. okay. No, 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 not at all. <laughs> okay. Well, they're sharing the wild and crazy ways they schemed in order to get their spouses to fall in love with them. Oh, that'll oh. work. That's all right. Yeah. Scheming is always the way to get a man. Yeah, you'll get him for a lifetime. Yeah, yeah, pull the yeah. wool over their eyes. One yeah. woman was talking to her crush and he told her that he was watching the new OJ Simpson doco and that he was up to episode three. And she was like, oh, my God, same. <laughs> and he invited her over to watch episode four and she'd never watched a second of it oh, and had no, no idea. No oh, idea. Oh, that's fun. You should little, yeah, set little challenges. Yes. Yeah, yeah. like I bet you, I bet you dinner if, um, blah. I didn't have an example. Oh, yeah. Damn. Make people work for it, though. Yeah. Mm. Not just like, would you go out to dinner with me? Go, all right, um, Ricky, if um, if you come over and watch an episode of OJ, I'll show you dinner. Okay. Yeah. I'm in. <laughs> I'm easy. to talk about at dinner. <laughs> Tricked you. What? Totally. Yeah. Tricked you. I oh, got you. Unzip um, There was another woman. <laughs> Unzip and expand. Unzip and expand. This old trick. That's the this is how I get all the guys. Hey. <laughs> 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 Look how big this thing goes! <laughs> oh I'm inviting Ben and Jerry over later. You want to come? Yeah. Look at this. Oh, yum. Um, there was another woman who was having legal problems. So this is oh. Oh, this is crazy. She researched a lawyer in her area. Then mm. she accidentally, randomly bumped into him at his local Starbucks. Psycho. Mm. Yeah, that's psycho. He asked her out. They dated for a month, and then she got all of the advice that she needed for free. Oh, that's so. That's creepy. <laughs> I think it's kind of amazing, but very creepy. I mean, thrifty. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. I generally mm. think tight asses are clever. 
you know, like they're always they're they're always yeah, kind of sure. yeah, yeah. A lot, a lot of work goes into being a tight ass, yes. I would assume. <laughs> oh, f- yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, sure. A lot of squats. <laughs> what? A lot of squats. A tight ass. I was going oh, literal, literal with it. Good. Oh, sorry, yeah. you went literal. Mm. You know me. Yeah. I work on so many different wavelengths. God, which Joel Creasy are we going to get today? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I find out each day too. Kate, Tim and Joel. I mean, and I, I am worried a bit though that after five we don't get to give away 10K today. feels like something's a bit wrong with the mm. world. Well, why don't you just, you know, dip just... into your personal funds and give 10K away and then you don't have to worry. Yeah, then we're still you'll feel it. great. Yeah. You'll feel so good about yourself. That's Go the on, worst idea I've ever heard. Joel and I will be sitting here like... We'll have you back. Yeah, yeah, one, one Republic. Yeah. I ain't worried about it. No, well, we actually, be. there's a few days left in the week, so I do it today. Then you do it. Oh, I think I'm going to be sick that day. And then you do it. <laughs> <laughs> I've, got what, I've got what Joel's got. I'd froth for it. <clears throat> yeah, you love doing all that stuff. I love it. Everyone talks about how nice you are. No. No, no, no. It's is there really? E- is there ever? Say, is, if there, is there ever <gasps> an actual uh, good deed? You know what oh I mean? Oh my god! Like How am I the sequin and you are tripping over unseen. yourself left, right, and centre? Because you know what? I just had a strawberry frog. It wasn't it was a strawberry a frog. What was, 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 was it? <laughs> it's too much. It's too much. Oh. It's so much stuff in your throat, isn't it? Yeah, I yuck, said I don't that like when I said, that when, I said that when you had it. I said that's it. a bad idea. You, I said really. Joel, who eats pancakes three meals a day. I had a Snickers like in the bathtub last night. And listen to his beautiful voice. <laughs> and listen to this. I'm, you I take am, it sound like this, doll. I know. I'm Don't drop that Snickers in the bathtub. Everyone will be like, what? I know, it looks wrong. <laughs> if you dropped a Snickers in the bathtub, <laughs> would you eat it? Yeah, yes. Yeah, I would. <laughs> that was the wrong time to take it. I know, because it's the biggest bottle of all time. It is the biggest bottle. Like you've got the Pacific Ocean. Okay, yes. I, would. I would. Okay, I would. But I not probably like, would. I'd, tr- I'd probably try and dry it off. Of course I'd eat it. Why would you dry if it? I, if I'm in the bath. Are you going to have to get out of the bath and get a towel? You walk well, I have water a bath. I have a towel right beside the bath so I can dry my hands. Oh, wow. Phone. God, you're a genius. Oh, gosh, I do the same <laughs> Oh, my God, did you hear that? <laughs> I always keep my towels in the front yard. <laughs> oh, my God. You've thought of everything. You're, you're working with Jeff Bezos. Incredible, isn't it? <laughs> you got to keep the dry hands. I mean, I keep that one, Dan. I keep my towel beside the bath. <laughs> Heard it all. Oh, I know. So you're going to scroll on Instagram. I, I know. I would definitely eat the Snickers. Yeah. It's only been in your filth. Well, that's right. And it's not going back in you anyway. Sure. I know. Though, my baths are so full of Epsom salts that it, <laughs> I don't think it tastes very good. Or Radox. Oh, okay. I love a bit of Radox. I um, thought about you when I, I sat in my bathroom this morning on the toot. <laughs> doing number two. Oh, what? Why? Why did I? <laughs> because I looked at the bath and I thought of... You, oh. Joel. I thought I, I, I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have a bath. Have Joel one. talks about these baths all the time. I never have a bath. I have a giant Neither bath. do I. Who has you baths? Because I've got, I've got too much to do. Yeah, I don't have a lot to do, but I still don't have time for a bath. But who wants to sit around like that? I love it. Mm. Bloom. I love it. I'd be, I'd be in a spa bath because at least it feels like you're doing something. Like, oh, because you love the feeling. Of you like the, little... you like sitting up. By yeah, the jets, I know. Don't I know you? why you go in the spa bath. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't need a Snickers if it fell in the spa bath. No. It's like you no. do. It's like you do see the dads at the public public pool sometimes sitting on those jets. I'm like, mate. Oh, you're having far too. <laughs> much bro, time. I'm here with my kids, mate. Oh, I know. Surely, that... there's, surely there's going to be another area. You no, and you can't wipe the grin off their face. <laughs> They're really They're just like, leaning into it. They're like, even if my kids uh, in trouble, <laughs> it's going to take, take a lot for me to give this jet up. <laughs> Yuck. Yuck. Splish, splash, I was taking a bath. Long about a Saturday night. We were going to talk about the perfect film, but we don't, we've run out of time. Oh, maybe maybe we'll, throw that that in, we'll throw that in glossies. I'm sure there's okay. one in there that can be replaced. <laughs> no doubt. Put my feet on the floor. I Is Kate, Tim and Joel yes. on Nova. Oh, 
we haven't heard Tools Down for so long. So I good. Know. Tools Down, guys, welcome. I mean, tool, it's been Tools Down in Melbourne since Friday. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Talk Melbourne's about, loose ass. How about taking the P-I-S-S out of a public holiday on Tuesday? I know. I'm not naming names, Melbourne, but uh, I know a lot of you have well, Friday off. A yep. lot of you took yesterday off. Mm-hmm. A lot of you took today off. Yeah, I think there's going to be a lot of sore heads around Melbourne today and tomorrow. A lot of mm-hmm. sick people tomorrow. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, true. True, true. Uh, congratulations to Gold Trip. Yes. The complete outside win. Gold Trip? I know. Gold Trip. Okay, good. Everyone just went... I think I didn't. I, I didn't even. I didn't this, watch so. the race. No, I know. Yeah, but it, it's the race that stops the nation, Joel you, Creasy. Yeah, but uh, and it also stopped out. the Channel Ten coverage in its tracks. What's oh. it mean? Oh, even like the last fifty, I was thinking. I'm going to win this in, but it just went forever. The last you get any sports star like, after they've just competed <laughs> in their event and they are whoop. Zero. Good yeah. on him. There's a good news story about that jockey, though, isn't there? It's the jockey, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, we'll get to that very soon. We're right. actually going to ask the question soon. Um, when did you just get back on the horse? Oh. We're like, literally? I like it. You like it? I like what you did oh, there. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, because he didn't get to race last year. For reasons we'll go into. Oh, okay. All right. I'm all ease. Oh, well, so you should be. Here till six. Up next, though, we're going to talk public drunkenness. Kate, Tim and Joel. Uh, Sam Smith. Boy. Kim Petra. Uh, I can't Holly. wait to be on a dance floor dancing to this yeah. song. Head out tonight. Head out tonight, cup night. I actually went out on the weekend. Did what? you? Yeah, I went to Palms. Oh, that's good The fun. greatest gay club in Sydney. Yeah. Mm. Um, I went that? to a rooftop at the Columbian. That was very fun. I watched oh, some, someone did one of my songs in drag. That was really cool. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Um, but yeah. When has it's like you just go in to check the Queens are up to code or Ricky's yeah. in. It's like you get, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I could, see, I could see in your eyes when we left here Friday. You're like, yeah, I don't know. They just stay in the city tonight. I'm not sure yet. Well, I, t- I told you. <laughs> I told you that I feel like as soon as I get back to pick yeah, up Rich, yeah, yeah. that there's probably, it was no. highly unlikely that we were driving home. Yeah. Good so on you. We stayed in the city. Well I had some sausage Which, and egg muffins on the drive home. It was beautiful. Which oh, be yeah. that. Relax. Let your hair down. I agree. Um, you can mm. do that in Brisbane now. You can go wild and crazy. I was talking about you this can? in the Today Show today because um, Sylvia Jeffries and I used to knock about in um, Brizzy together quite some time ago. Yes. Yeah. And I always thought it was completely legal to be publicly drunk in Brisbane because every time I get off the plane there, there, <laughs> yeah. there I am again. There, there, there he is. <laughs> hey, welcome to the valley. <laughs> um... <laughs> I'm reading you the just get off the story. plane. I'm coming home. <laughs> oh, I've had some big nights in the valley. Oh, uh, yeah. what, what about that place in the valley? Um, the, no, um, the beat that the has beat. the Bain Marie. There's yeah. like there's like a buffet downstairs. Yeah, the so beat's like, great. Yeah, Pash in the dance floor and a bit of buffet downstairs. Yeah, dinner and a show. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Shepard performed at the um, at Flemington today. They look and they're so also great. really nice. Yeah. Oh, mate, of course. They're Brisbane people. people. Brisbane people yeah. are nice. They are. Uh, there's an inquiry recommending that Queensland should join other Australian states to decriminalise public intoxication. Yes. So when have you been publicly drunk? Have you been arrested? I mean, this is the kind of time of year to talk about it because one of the famous stories from Melbourne Cup a few years ago was the uh, well, the wheelie bin lady who was riding a wheelie bin. <laughs> um, what about the one that... Did she go and punch the she security? Pushed the she pushed into a rose bush. Him. She pushed the cop. What was she doing? You can't thinking? do that. No, you, you can't, can't do that, babe. It's just... That's so funny. But it'd be, like the, the cop would have probably been... You know when you're embarrassed? When men get embarrassed, they get angry. Like yes. We don't stay embarrassed very long before we just got angry. Yeah. Like, Blame <laughs> someone. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he would have been so embarrassed. So quickly. I reckon he would have thrown the book at her because he was a bit embarrassed. Yeah. Do you think he might have, like, blushed? Thirteen twenty four ten. public intoxication. Now's the time to talk about it. Maybe you are now. Get on, get, if you're in a cab, you're listening. Maybe you've 24. done that, like, you. I'll give you anything to get me out of here because I've done that before at the races. I'll Have just you? pay any amount. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm. I feel like if you're happy and drunk, that should be fine. Mm-hmm. Of course, people, you know, being angry and aggro and getting into fights and swearing and screaming at each other, that's gross. But mm. if you're just happy and yeah. intoxicated... 
We're not really hurting anyone. No, apparently Victoria passed the legislation last year. Queensland's the only state not to have adopted recommendations to decriminalise public intoxication. I mean, grow up, Queensland. Come on, Anastasia. Maybe it's because all they're doing is smashing cans of Forex gold and they're never actually that drunk. They're always just (laughs) tips and bloated. (laughs) Does Anastasia drink? And I, I wonder what a tipple is. I, wonder what what I, I reckon typically. she'd have a, um, a white wine. Yeah, she'd a shardy. A she'd be on the shardies, oh, I think. Oh, yes, like a nice crisp shardy. And because, yeah, and dry because, white wine. No, I just think function white wine because her, her life would be functions. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like the house she, she, she'd have like four dinners a night kind of thing. Mm. Yeah, of course. It'd be exhausting. But then when yeah. she gets home, I reckon she cracks open a VB. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 13, 24, 10. When have you been publicly intoxicated? Your stories, your friends, relationships. Have you ended up in the slammer? Hey, Tim and Joel. I forgot to bring my Amy Shark socks for you. What? I got some merch socks. I did, and you said, yeah, I'll have them. Did I? Yeah. He loves a freebie. I've got Billie Eilish. I gave um, my kids Billie Eilish socks. It cost $55 at the concert. Really? Very expensive merch. Oh, that's where you make the money, the merch there. Oh, serious. God, you're really full of all the great ideas oh, today. Well, I oh, I Tang, let me write all this and down. Then, towel, the, towel beside the bar. And then what did you say the other day? You said, oh, if I was a singer, I'd release a song like this. Oh, if I was a singer, I'd be like, I'd, I'd release that Lizzo song that's popular at the moment. That yeah. would be my style. Why don't you, you think like that? You still don't even know what the name <laughs> no. of the song is. Am I ready? Yeah, you Ricky, you idiot. Ready? You're big Yeah, idiot. why don't you start thinking more like that? <laughs> you should write a song like that. It would do really well. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, actually, that's a good point. Everyone is trying to write songs as good as that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, was, I could if I was a singer. So yeah. towels beside the bath. <laughs> you should try. Uh, money at merch <laughs> and write songs like Lizzo. Yeah, yeah. easy. That's, uh, that's Any Joel's other questions? recipe. That's your trifecta of success. <laughs> yes. That's mm, what's that's in Tim's box. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I boxed my trifecta today and none of them came anywhere. <laughs> but that's gambling. I did it responsibly. That's the main thing. Oh, yeah. yes. Good. Which You're I so guess, responsible. Well, the definition of gambling gambling isn't responsible. Like if you define the word gamble, to gamble is irresponsible. Yeah. But so do it responsibly. Just I wonder if Gamble had a gamble today. Oh, nice one. Tight mm. back for the Real Housewives. So <laughs> you can go home early. Can I actually? No. My voice is not holding up. <laughs> You've got a wet pizza to eat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you do probably have a function to go to tonight, though. I'm not going to a function tonight. I'm going to a function tomorrow. <laughs> I'll see you in person tomorrow. Okay. But not tonight. I have a feeling what we might spin up on the Wednesday wheel tomorrow. Ooh. If I if my if my thinking cap is put on. Um let's talk about this though. Queensland, can you believe it? The last state to um, decriminalise public intoxication. They're all also um, throwing public urination into the mix there. Because I think there's nothing better if you can find a good safe spot to <laughs> wee on a tree or something. <laughs> Yeah, you know, like Hyde it's, Park in Sydney, and not tell you like you don't you know if it's not obvious, it's hidden out of the way. Well, it's, it's your own business. Hyde Park in Sydney in Twilight. Guys. Yeah, me and my seven-year-old son, yeah. weed on a big tree there. And now, whenever we go past it, we like look at each other knowingly going, "What's that little spot?" Like it's bonding. Yeah, but it's a lot uh, harder for a girl. I've seen yeah. girls publicly way at music festivals it's so on hard. back tires. You, need, you know the best thing is you get those little sheepy things. Yeah, the she yeah. yeah. The she Yeah. Do you travel with one of those? I should start putting it on my rider so that everywhere I go, oh no, because there's always toilets. But I should oh, carry well, one. That's good. <laughs> Isn't that weird? I should carry one in go, my little bag. I know. Yeah, no, like but theaters. sometimes you know, sometimes you'll be on a long drive or you'll be out somewhere. Like I, I really, I had to run in the city the other night and like bang down toilets to go and try and find somewhere. <laughs> Where to go. Yeah, because you drink so much fluid. I know, but I had to ask like the people that were working on the road. I was like, I'll go into Portaloo at this point. Like when I got in your car oh and I opened God. the passenger door and all those empty cans of V <laughs> fell out. Of, like, <laughs> what is it? Was it like, some redneck tractor? <laughs> <laughs> the rattling of cans. <laughs> like you just gotten hitched. I actually had to, <laughs> true. I had to pull over yesterday because there were so many cans in the door. I had to pull them all out. They were making too much noise. They were annoying me. Why don't oh you try this? God. Like riding a song like Lizzo. Pull, pull. Uh, into your house yes. and I don't know, take him into, inside and put him in the bin. Because <laughs> I forget. <laughs> it's not till I'm driving that I'm like, that oh, no. can. Now, it's Public um, Intoxication Day, aka Melbourne Cup Day. Uh, Paige, what happened? Uh, so, out with a group of friends at the nightclub, just having a good time. I found my uh, post 90% vodka, uh, <laughs> homemade. <laughs> and uh, uh, 
three days of a hangover, and three months later, with broken metatarsals all across my foot. Oh my um, yeah, I couldn't remember my name that night. Ouch. No, yeah. so that's not fun. No. 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 Just, yeah, be careful, Paige. Yeah. We feel for you. Yeah. I've got nothing to say, Paige. No, not at all. That good drink would have been That's a real disgusting. story. Because I didn't hear it. Oh, I know, but I was expecting someone to be riding a wheelie bin again or pushing a cop into a rose bush. <laughs> I know. Anyway, anyway, happy cup day, guys. Be safe this afternoon. Be yeah. safe. If I was a singer, I'd release a song like this. Kate, Tim and Joel, driving you home on Nova. Now, Joel Greasy. Yes, Tim Blackwell. This is a band called Ratata. Well, this, I've got a story about a ginormous rat. Yeah. A huge rat. A great-grandfather. Like a great, like, like a, I'm sure he was a great guy too, but he was a great grandfather. Yeah. He's claiming to have caught an 18 inch rat the size of a small dog. Oh my God. Oh. The man has said he's been at war with the rat for about seven years. <laughs> at war. It's huge. The photo of this bloke holding this giant rat, it is like a dog. It is where, bigger than a chihuahua. Where is this? Um, somewhere on planet Earth. <laughs> oh, I'm cool. not sure where specifically. <laughs> I can't imagine here in Australia. In the UK. In the UK. Yeah. Oh, oh it's huge. I mean, if only you could say it. Oh, might, here it is. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. Oh, my it's goodness. It's like someone in a costume. <laughs> it's so big. <laughs> like Splinter. Like a medium-sized <laughs> like splinter. dog. I know. Look at the tail on it. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> okay. Um, up next, we'll talk uh, about some cup celebrations, if you've got one. Also... When did you just get back on the horse? Did you just get back up on the horse? You put, you dusted yourself off. Just got back on. Got back into life. Give us your inspiring stories. Kate, Tim and Joel. <laughs> Can you take that off the screen, please? No. no I can't. <laughs> I mean, oh, my God. I just think it. It's he fine. It's I know. I know it's fine. fine it's, it's, it's actually just, part of the human body. Yeah. It's so I know. Normal. And it's not what. I know. We're looking at vocal cords because obviously my vocal cords are um, not great at the moment. Wow. Uh, look at that. And one. I said <laughs> that they look. <laughs> Gemma's moved the screen. I boy. said that they look like, and it looks like another. <laughs> Yeah. P- part of the human body. Holy I know. Macro. And all bodies are beautiful. They are. But mm. some are a bit more. Um, so my vocal cords right now are, will be like... They'd be so angry. Oh, no, they'd be throbbing. They're, they're, yeah. They'd be angry. <laughs> they're, angry. <throbbing. laughs> they're cross. They are cross. They're cross, they're cross they're... and they're swollen, <laughs> engorged. <laughs> um, I know it's radio, but do yourself a favour if you'd like and Google image uh, vocal cords. And holy moly. I know that's Joel's disgusted. Every, well, yeah. I just not, I looked it's not over part of Joel's and... repertoire. That's for sure. No, no, my, the eyes popped out of my head. So if I bring in a photo of mine, I know that it's it's a photo of my vocal cords. Not... <laughs> oh, <there you> go. <laughs> <laughs> Gemma moved the screen, and now it's fine. You can't avoid it. Look at that. Be like, oh wow, let's go through Ricky's phone. Some... <laughs> Oh, okay. Some of them are oh, oh, God, I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Look at the top, Tim. Look at the Is top. that a nodule? This, oh, that one. The, no, on the, the big one right in front of you. Is that a nodule? Doesn't it look like the screen mask? <laughs> oh, it does too. It looks exactly like the screen mask. <laughs> Yeah, guys, it's Melbourne Cup Day today. Um, and Mark Zara, now he missed out on riding the winning horse, very elegant, at last year's Melbourne Cup, after being suspended for three months. Wasn't he in the um, house, you know, the house with the other jockeys? Oh, they broke COVID rules, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, yeah, he had a notorious Airbnb COVID party. Um, mm, I remember this. Because I've heard, like a lot of professions you hear sometimes, that jockeys get... Pretty wild. You get a bit yeah, lit. That's what everyone says. Mm. Is it because they're smaller in um, frame and so therefore they get intoxicated quicker? I think it's more than just getting intoxicated. I think these Airbnb parties are huh. legendary. Oh, yeah, all yeah, yeah. right. Like, no need to bring the saddle. Leave the saddle at home. Oh, oh I see. Right. <laughs> Cute. Mm. Like the old oh. saying, you hung like a horse. <laughs> kind of. But that has nothing to do with this conversation. No, you just want to and throw that in. I didn't know how to get it in, so I said, like the old saying. Okay, Jermaine, you know what that means. Put the uh, vocal cords back up for Joel. That's punishment. <laughs> that is punishment. 
But, um, he watched the race last year in Bar and Bay. I mean, how lovely. But Mark redeemed himself today when he guided Gold Trip to victory in the 2022 Melbourne Cup. Is this him doing the uh, dropping the F bomb? Yeah. What's it mean? Oh, uh, even like the last 50, I was thinking. I'm going to win this here, no, but it just went forever the last bit, and I was, uh, yeah, I mean, I still can't believe it. It's just Melbourne Cup, just unbelievable. Mm, yeah, it is. Oh, mm. So imagine the party that he's going to have tonight. Oh, my God. Oh, I know. Be... Did you want, want to own an Airbnb in the Flemington area today? Oh, no. <laughs> 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 Wow. Um, all right, get your nodules all formed up because we're playing Joel Diver next. Uh, oh my, how chance. am I going to do this? We're in a JBL pulse speaker. It's going to be fun. Maybe I sing amazing with a bad throat. You might. Imagine. Uh, if, I'm not a betting man, but I'm uh, yeah. surprised. <laughs> Kate, Tim and Joel. Smallsy has dual leaper tickets to win before her shows kick off this weekend. Did she kick well, off in Melbourne or is she chopping off somewhere else? Well, I feel like fr- Friday night, oh, sorry, Sunday night was that um, Palais show she did and, and it was a, not a rehearsal because it was perfect, but it was like, you know, getting in the groove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is she doing one of those in Sydney as well? I don't believe so, no. No, I thought she was doing the ML, but that's not. No? No, oh, that's me. That's you. It's just Joel. Yep. It's me. Hi. It's me. Hi, Joel. <laughs> oh, Joel. Oh, Joel. Joel. Javen. Kicks off Brisbane Saturday. That's Dua Lipa. Uh, we awesome. have a JBL Pulse Bluetooth speaker. I've got a hot take for me today. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm the one of the three of us that's seen her recently. I know. I've never seen her live before. Oh, how she, she puts on a good show. Oh, good. Oh, wow. Hot take. Wow, you should write songs like Dua Lipa. <laughs> you should actually physical. Yeah, physical that's another you, song. You should have written that. Oh. Okay. If I was a singer, well, you know what? Actually, for you, album. new rules would have been a good one. New rules. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's pretty I, easy. I, I got new rules. I found them. Yeah, oh, that's if, a good one. If you want me to come in on one of your writing, um, days, all right, I'll bring you to the studio next time. Yeah, you can yeah. sing yeah. for everyone. Yeah. Well, I'm coming to your next gig. You are. I'm literally flying in for it. I'm so excited. I've invited so many people just FYI. Oh, I, goodness I need quite me. a ball list. <laughs> You're making me nervous now. <laughs> yeah, you should be. Let's now, just hope it's not. Oh, now, B, Joel is playing for you today. I mean, look, he's not f- in fine form, but that's okay. Hi, B. She'll still give it a red hot go. Hi, lovey dove. Oh, lovey dove. I like that. Okay, I'm going to win for you, B. Um, and we've got Sarah. Hi, on, Sarah. On Ricky. Hi, Ricky. Go, you've got to do this for me. I'm going to try my absolute best. God, I've never seen... As I always do. Or heard two ladies who want a JBL Pulse Bluetooth speaker more in their life. Banging for you it. You know it's oh. just a speaker, right? <laughs> <laughs> B's gagging oh, for it. B's so bagging for the JBL Pulse. <laughs> boom, boom. Is that Queen B? Queen B. Might be Queen. Or B from um, Golden Girls. Oh. oh, so many options. Now. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> what do we do here? These are songs that listeners want Joel and Ricky to sing. It's listener picks oh, edition. God, they're going to be ridiculous. Oh, well, they're not really. Participation. They're not really. I'll play the start of a song. But We've tossed a coin. Ricky, you're going to go first. We went, oh, no, Joel's oh. Tails today. <sighs> I'm always Tails. Tails oh, man. Oh, I'm worried that I have other things on when you guys come in and do that, and you go, oh, I'm always tells Like, who would no, know that? Well, it's, but you No, well, like... you seem to, every single time we toss a coin, tell us the story about the coin and the, the, yeah. the bread and the toast and the... <laughs> And me choosing, choosing Tails is one of, like, you know, the great showbiz stories. You've always got time for the story. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, we've run out of time. Uh, okay, now... Um, Lily requested this one. Joel, you are first up. Thanks, Lily. Oh, this is a good one. Mickey oh, Echo and Rihanna. Oh. No, why? Put some big Rihanna for me. She's not your girl. She's not my girl. I love this song so much. Don't be afraid if you're broken no. and hearted. I have no idea. Why would you give me that song, well, Lily? But I love your Lily songwriting know skills there. For you, could be anyone. Yeah, you or Ricky. I probably had better lyrics. I love this song. feel about it. Oh, that's right. Something in the way you move. Perfect. Really oh, I almost went to the other one. Oh, I know, I know. 
Mickey Echo gets a raw deal in the end of this. Like, he is brilliant. What's Mickey the outfit? Echo? Mickey's playing the piano. Yeah, I know, but he's singing. Oh, and he's singing in the back there? Yeah, yeah, he's like Lana Del Rey and all Taylor stuff. Yes. <laughs> Mickey. Mickey. Oh, God, so nice. Mickey. Okay, here we go. Uh, Ricky, you're up next. It's first to three. From Mickey to Ricky. Oh. Oh. oh no! I've got this mixed up. This is from I know, this is Sunset. Sunset. This is song. Thank you, Sunset. Oh, baby, do you know what that's what? Yes. Ooh, heaven is a place on earth. Yeah. Bang. Oh, that was close. I know. I, I was a bit nervous too, bizarrely, though. What? Oh. Because I, I, I thought the same lyrics. Turns out they're correct. If you ever want to hear that story, you can let me know. Wow. I'm really, uh, look, I'm under the weather. <laughs> you're doing a great job. Uh, you are doing a great Look, the fact that you're here is you won the day, all right? You and won I love the day. Your you know, a big sad sack I at know, home under no, the I doona. To come in of course. And just make it's it everyone mates. else's problem. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Joel, you're up. Here we go. Stop the me. I am wanted to be. Tell me, baby, cause I need to know now. What because my loneliness mm. is killing me. And now, uh, oh, my throat. I must yes, confess. Stop, 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 stop. Yes, yes. Never stop. That's the best thing I've ever heard. <laughs> it's gone. Oh. I think, you may have, I think you may have done irreversible damage. I, uh, like, I you've done nothing to make your voice better in that. Okay, um, I think thankfully, oh. Ricky, this is for the win. Okay. Uh, I just by, want to hear more, Joel. Well, this is interesting. This is uh, it's amazing it's lasted and landed on you because this, this is from listener D, and D would love to hear Tricky's take on it. Early, Don't you? It's one of those ones that you just... It's not that easy. It's just rock around to rock around. All right, our time is tricky. Yeah. That's it. We'll put you out of your misery, Joel. Congratulations. Congratulations. Sorry, B. Thanks to the listeners for getting involved. We're back tomorrow. We'll see you in the flesh. Yes, see you then. See you with the next guys. Have a good night. Kate, Tim and Joel is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.